Hi, my name is Jen and welcome to the Book Refuge. And um, today we're going to do a video that I like wasn't going to make, but then I was like, actually, I want to talk about these books more than I maybe already have because a lot of these books are sequels to books I loved in 2018. So I was like, what a perfect reason to talk about them some more. So um, this is my most anticipated reads of 2019. And I ended up with nine of them because the 10th one, when I read the first book, I actually didn't like it. So I'm not going to like pre-order the next one and I probably won't read it anyway. So, um, and I won't talk about that because I don't want to throw shade on it. It's, it's enough. So I'm going to go ahead and go through this list. Um, ooh, excuse me. Some of these there aren't even pictures for yet, um, but if there is, I'll put them up there along with the, the month that they get released um, because I didn't put these in order. I don't care. So they're probably going to be all over the place. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and jump in and let me know which ones you're excited for. Um, and yeah, I can't wait. I'm so excited. All of the ones on this list, I for sure, for sure am going to read. So I can't wait. So let's go. So the first one I have on my list, and these aren't in any particular order, they're all over the place. So the first one on my list is Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I am so excited for these two to team up again. They are my home girl and boy from Australia, and they wrote The Illuminate Files, which was on my list of favorite books. You're going to see a pattern here very quickly. Um, but this one, the cover just got revealed. Oh, it's so beautiful. I entered a chance to win an arc, and I won it so bad. Um, again, I'll put the month that it comes out, but this, um, they've said it's a little bit like the breakfast club in space. Maybe I could be making that up, but the tagline is like, they're not the heroes we deserve. They're the only ones we could find. Um, and then there's this beautiful picture of, I've been told that's Aurora that's on the cover. So I'm so excited. This is going to be called the, the Aurora cycle or the Aurora saga. Not sure, but if it's by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, I'm reading it because a lot of my favorite books last year were by them. So amazing. Um, next, and this one actually comes out on December 31st, but I put it in here anyway because I don't think enough people have heard about it. That is a collection of short stories that is coming out by Christopher Paolini, who wrote The Inheritance Um cycle so why do I keep saying cycle the inheritance saga which I will be rereading in 2018 and this book comes out and it's called the fork the witch and the worm um and it's also supposed to have a little snippet of like stuff that's happened after words I don't know whether that's in its own short story or if it's in like an epilogue of some kind but I love the inheritance cycle and Christopher is taking forever to write anything else which I I get because a lot of his like teenage years were taken up writing this series and that's a great accomplishment accomplishment but I want more damn it I want more so super excited for that even though I don't usually like collections of short stories I will take it if that's what he's writing I will take it Next is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, she wrote um, An Enchantment of Ravens. And so this, I'm told, isn't a sequel, but it's possibly set in the same world. I could totally be making that up. Um, but I loved An Enchantment of Ravens. A lot of people didn't because they said it was too tropey, but I loved it. I loved that it was a standalone and that it was a cool, just like little fairy tale. And the fairies were pretty brutal and I liked it. So that was a good, that was a good read for me. It didn't make it into my top list just because... I can see how it is subpar to other things, but I'm definitely excited to give her another chance. That was her debut novel, and I saw a lot of good things starting in there, so I can't wait. Next is Again But Better by Christine Riccio. Um, I have never had a contemporary romance like on a must-read list, but Christine is what got me into the book, too. She is the booktuber that got me into this community so I really want to support her and read her book. I've heard it's really cute from the people who've read it so I'm gonna give it a chance um, and hopefully I'm not disappointed. Um, I haven't read any other booktubers books um, but Christine is like on a must read 
for me. So I'm going to be checking that one out when it comes out. Next is Dark Age by Pierce Brown. This is the next book in the Red Rising series or like the continuation series that's happening after Red Rising. It takes place like 10 years afterwards and Daro is having to deal with keeping a hold of the new society he's created. I haven't read Iron Gold yet because I just wasn't in the right mind space to read it. But now that there's another one out, I feel like I will because I know that there was like, there was a, um, a cliffhanger in that one. And so I was like, I'm going to wait. And then this book kept getting pushed. Like it's been pushed probably two times now. Um, and that always like makes me nervous, but also makes me excited because I know Pierce really cares that his story be good. And so the fact that they've had to push it says more about him wanting the book to be perfect than it being messed up. You know what I mean? So He's still on my must buy, like I will buy everything he makes. So next is Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff. I, this series, The Nevernight, um, I think it's supposed to be a trilogy. I don't know if there's going to be more after this, but I am in, there was a huge cliffhanger at the end of um, God's Grave. And this is probably like the darkest series I've ever read. Like... I don't usually go really dark. I like my fantasy a little more, you know, superficial. Like, I don't care. I like it. I want to feel good at the end of it. And his books never make me feel good, but they are good, if that makes any sense at all. So I'm very excited for Dark Dawn. This is another book that got pushed, but I'm believing it's going to be awesome. So next and there's no picture for this one oh wait there is it just might be hard to find because it's not on amazon but i've seen it on her twitter that is immunity by aaron bowman this is the next book in the contagion i believe it's gonna be a trilogy um which i loved was on my top books of last year um this was a book that i had no idea what to expect and it ended up being kind of like a sci-fi horror novel um and the cliffhanger was so good. So good. Um, really hard to explain this series without spoilers, but basically it's this um, group of people on a ship from all ages. There is a teenage intern who's working with a scientist and then there's some guards, there's some technical people, and they get sent to answer a rescue call. But when they get to the planet where the rescue call was put out, everyone's dead. And there are just dead bodies everywhere. And there's a note from the commander of the base that says, it got in us. We're all dead. Don't come. Like, it, it says something like that. I probably just butchered that. But, um, but they're all there. And then something happens to their ship and they can't leave right away. So they have to figure out what's going on on this planet if they want to leave. And it was so good. So great. Um, next, Shadow and Flame by Mindy Arnett, which this is the next book in the Onyx and Ivory trilogy, which Onyx and Ivory was also on my list. I loved it. This had, um, dragons, magic, lost love, um, the fight for who will be king, um, uh, subversion and anarchy and plotting against the kingdom. And it was just all these things, plus a girl who can communicate with animals, which always... That's my fave. So, so excited for the next one. Um, loved it. And then finally, you knew this one had to be on the list, King of Scars by Lee Bardugo, which that one I know. I know that one comes out in February because I can't wait. And for the first time ever, I actually ordered like a fan box. So it's going to come with a bunch of King of Scars merch and an exclusive edition of the copy. And I cannot wait. I have never done that because that box was like 50 bucks because with shipping and then with all the extra things but I just decided I know I'm gonna read this I can't wait to read it um it is a continuing of the Grisha verse and it's gonna be the first in a duology about King Nikolai who he some people would say was the best part of the Grisha trilogy um he was up there for me like I really I was really shipping Nikolai with a certain person, and I won't say because I don't want to spoil. But now, knowing who's going to be in his book, I'm also shipping him with some people who are going to be in that book. I'm just, whatever ship that Nikolai ends up on, that's funny because he 
goes undercover as a pirate lord at one point. I am in it. Like, I want all the good things for Nikolai. He's had a really shitty go of it, and I just want my precious, you know, to be okay. So, anyway, those are my most anticipated reads of 2019. Let me know if you're excited for any of these. Let me know some of your most anticipated books. Did I forget one? I maybe should have said. Um, but yeah, I am so pumped. I can't wait. And 2019 is going to be the best reading year ever for me. I just know it. So thanks as always. Um, if you want to check out more videos, I make new things every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So go ahead and subscribe for more videos. Have a great day. Bye!